Every morning, thousands of men come down that road across the border to work in the dockyard here. Every evening, they go back again into Spain. We do everything we can to screen them, but it's a pretty hopeless task. Thank heaven we're only here for a few nights. Well, gentlemen, now at least you know the picture. You're anchored up here. Here's an anti-submarine net. We shall do everything we can to protect you, but it's essential you order a sharp lookout to be kept all night. Any questions? Yes, sir. Right, now let's get down to detail. There's one thing about Gibraltar, we do get a regular air mail from home. We also get the occasional bright boy from London to tell us how to run the war. There's probably a Whitehall warrior on this one. <laughs> Crab, we're here. What is it? Where's the rock? Oh, I wish you wouldn't do that, Mr. Holford. We're over the rock. What rock? Gibraltar, of course. Oh. As a rule, people get very excited about their first view of Jib. Well, when I'm the exception, besides, I'm tired. I can't imagine why. You've been asleep nearly all the way. Couldn't imagine the party I had last night either. You got a family, Mr. Holford? Oh, yes. You're lucky. You can keep your farewells for them. I'm a lonely man, so crowds of people turned up to see me off. Never met most of them before, or probably never see them again. So that's Gibraltar, eh? What are those ships out there in the bay? They're a convoy at anchor. Mm, and that's where the pop baskets get mine stuck in their hulls, is it? Please, careless talk. Never managed to blow up anything inside the harbor? They've tried, but we have the situation under control. Divers, you know. A lot of ships. How many divers? Landing in two minutes. Hang on tight, everyone. If we have a shoot test, we're going to drink. I know the rock very well. If I can give you any tips, I'll give it. Give me one now. Where do I find the Admiral? At the naval headquarters. He's a very busy man, but I'm sure he'll put everything on one side to welcome an RNBR lieutenant. Mr. Holford, I've just bought myself a brand new uniform for the first time since the war started. And I propose to christen it properly by visiting that Admiral. Now then. How many divers did you say? Two. You'll see me. Come in. Have you an appointment, sir? No. Sorry, sir. No one allowed in the Admiral's office without first seeing the Assistant Secretary. Third Officer Ren Masters, sir. This is her office, sir. Well, where is she? Inside with the Admiral, sir. Look. If I have to see her before I can go in, and she's already inside, how the devil do I get in? Oh, it is a problem, sir, isn't it? Of course, you could wait until she comes out, sir. I say, could you tell me how I could get in? Even when she does come out, sir, I doubt it to let you go in. Not unless you have an appointment, sir. Oh, she won't, won't she? Now, you listen to me. I came out of this blasted rock of yours to get on with the war. And if you think that a whole army of wrens, fannies, ats, whacks are going to stop me from getting in there, you're very much mistaken. Come. It's a nasty cough. Are you third officer, Red Masters? I am. I want to see the Admiral. Name? Crab. Christian names? Lionel Philip Kenneth. Rank? I'm a lance corporal in the Chinese army. Lieutenant RNVR. Identity card? 